from trash to treasure. That was the belief of this planned destination big box retail center perched on the hill in Garfield Heights, Ohio. With a view of downtown Cleveland, the City View Center encompassed 50 acres of land, and back in 2006, was planned to be the area's new retail and commercial mecca. The only problem was, it was built on a garbage landfill. Holy shit. Jesus. Oh my god. This is un uh, insane. It's not too often that you see an abandoned Walmart, but this is a physical representation of the very moment things began to go wrong here. Hello? imprint on the ground of where the uh, cash registers would have been. So Walmart has like those octagon kind of things where you get your bags. This is where it would have been. Right in front of the restrooms. Back in the day, several developers had invested into building a shopping center comprised of big box stores and small strip mall tenants. After approval from the EPA to build this $1 billion concept, the project moved forward in 2003 to build on top of a closed dump. The first phase of their project opened in 2006, with Walmart being the main anchor, along with Dick's Sporting Goods and Giant Eagle. Many other tenants, including Home Depot and JCPenney, plan to open in the coming years, along with a multitude of other big and small box tenants. However, serious issues began to arise. Quite literally. Oh, this looks like it was a, a subway.
Man, this building is creaking like you wouldn't believe. I don't know if it's structurally unsound or if it's just the wind. But it's not a good not a good sound to hear. Lots of bird feathers everywhere. The wood flooring, usually the clothing section of Walmart. And the concrete pathways. It's kind of crazy to see a Walmart without all the aisles. It really shows the true immense scale of this building. And this isn't even a super Walmart, this is just a standard one I think. So it is pretty crazy. Ugh, musty in here. Bulletin boards. Man, the electrical. Holy man, look at this. It's still on. This is still on, eh? Listen, there's a hum. Oh, look at, look at this. Oh my God. How depressing <laughs> is that? Well, this is what they did with all the, uh, the shelving backers. The stuff that they couldn't use in other uh, stores, I guess. I wonder if Walmart still owns this or not. Deadly and explosive methane gas had begun seeping through the newly formed cracks in the concrete and began causing problems with safety. And with this reason cited, after only three years of operation, Walmart had abruptly closed their location at the City View Center in 2008. At the time of their closure, the developers had been hard at work on building new structures to aggressively fill in their available land. However, as the recession began and more big box tenants followed in Walmart's suit, development had abruptly been abandoned. As the EPA took a second look at the site, they found extremely high levels of dangerous toxins in the water. The developers had been fined for the mismanagement of the land, and had agreed to regulate the methane with wells across the property. However, soon after, another major problem began to form with the shifting of the land. Since the shopping center was constructed upon a former landfill, the soil had been much less stable, which caused the entire site to slowly shift downwards towards the bottom of the hill. So this is behind Walmart. And look at the amount of displacement there has been from the ground sinking. My God. This is the foundation of the structure right here. And you can, li it's literally, you can see under the foundation. This is unbelievable. The loading dock area behind the structure has sunk so much that it's, it's cracked the retaining wall behind. Look, the entire wall has actually come off the main structure. This pavement has sunk so far. Look at the the travel from where it used to be. The top line right here is where it would where it was originally tarred in when the structure was built. And look where it is now. It's sunk a foot here. Probably about a foot, yeah. When 
this was built, that was probably level with the pavement of how much this is sunk. Take a look at these. This is the cement that is in place and the rest of the, the asphalt has just sloped down. And right next to the building here, because this was obviously built on a landfill, they got methane relief valves. So there's literally one, uh, it's not even functioning now, the fan has been removed, but it looks like uh, the methane would have come up through here, gone through this contraption, and then been sent up to the to the roof and and let uh, to vent. Man, what a mess! So to fix their problem of the <laughs> sloping asphalt, they just poured a bunch of new <laughs> stone or asphalt here to make the staircase less treacherous to walk down. And you can see they extended the legs here too. A quick fix to a serious problem. It looks like where I'm standing right now is the worst part of the sinking, the land sinking. Look how the land is just sinking this way. And it's the same for this. It's all sinking. It looks like this is the lowest point of the land. And the buildings are just staying put, so that the land around it is sinking in. The staircase is just... essentially <laughs> floating. You can see where... it put a, would have been underground, probably, at that point, or right at the, the ground level. And where that tar, this level right here, is where the ground used to be. And it is just sunk so far down. It looks like right, be right here in between what was Circuit City and Walmart, there was supposed to be another big box store in between, but doesn't look like it was ever built. You can see right here, there is a methane relief valve in the grass meant to, well, relieve the methane in the ground. Usually you find those in dumps, but this one is in a shopping complex. The surface of this sidewalk has steeped down so low that it's starting to come off where it was originally poured. Down here is Marshall's, what used to be Marshall's, the windows. The property is currently listed as an active NPL Superfund site. Which means, while it doesn't currently pose an imminent threat to humans, it has in the past. Through the years, tenants had continued to close their stores at City View, which only leaves Giant Eagle operating out of the main structure. Just outside, uh, next to the former Radio Shack and the other buildings, there was a structure that was being built, it looks like, further down, but never was completed. So there is a half-finished building here that's also sinking in, that's just left to the elements, and there's all types of foliage. It's, a, it's basically an unfinished storefront in a forest at this point. More development could have came, but it never did. I'm sure at one point the master plan for all of this was to extend the shopping complex even further out than this. But of course, problems emerge when you build a shopping complex on a landfill, and then everything starts to slide, and methane starts pouring up. You can see one of the methane relief valves 
in the parking lot of PetSmart. Right there. What a disaster. really starting to oh my god I'd get very sick if I went in there with that respirator I guess this was, uh, I guess this was pet grooming. straight through. The future remains unclear as of right now, with the city hoping to build a jail and corresponding legal facilities on the property. But at the end of the day, the same problems seem like they would likely persist unless the proper funds were invested. And the City View Center is an example of what happens when they're not, with greed and ambition lost in the realm of practical sense, which potentially put lives in danger and lost tens of millions of dollars. What's left of this enormous mess is the telling tale of that exact story. Phone stores, shopping the Walmart way. I'm back. So soon, I got everything I need at Walmart. That's the idea. Shopping the Walmart way not only saves you money, but time, trouble, and my aching back. That's real sense. 